Hi, so I'm doing something new today, so I'm uh, doing videos now. So I'm uh, using a Space Max as an IDE, an RIDE, and uh, I want to talk about piping uh, functions, chaining functions together using pipes in R. So if you're a Linux user, you might know, uh, you might be familiar with the concept of uh, pipes. Uh, if you're an R user or if you're a Python user, maybe you're a data scientist, uh, you're working with Python or with any other language, maybe you're not familiar with pipes. And I think this is a very nice feature that uh, isn't available in R now for, I don't remember, it's quite some time now, thanks to uh, the Tidyverse package. Well, not directly the Tidyverse, but let's say that the Tidyverse um, makes this package available to you, but it's actually a function from the Magrita package. Anyway, that's not so important for, for this video today. So the idea of a pipe is to take the output of a function and pass that as the input of another function. So for instance, uh, let's suppose that you don't know anything about pipes. You don't know about pipes, right? And you want to uh, look at the data set. You want to look at the uh, empty cars data set. Actually, that let me maybe uh, zoom in a bit because, yeah, I think that's better. Okay, so I'll look at my, uh, you know, let me look at the empty cars data set. So I look at the head of the data set, the first six lines. Uh, and now let's say, okay, you know, uh, let me compute uh, or let me look at the uh, so, some summary statistics, right? So summary empty cars. Uh, so now I have my summary statistics variable per variable, I have minimum, maximum, etc. I have all manner of things. The problem here is that if for some reason I want to work with the, let's say, the minimum of MPG, well, I cannot do that here. So I have to save that in a separate variable. I have to write, for example, min MPG is empty cars min, uh, um, empty cars min, sorry, empty cars MPG. And actually, I forgot the min function. So actually, I should write, and now I have the minimum, right? Uh, min MPG 10.4, very nice. So let's suppose now that uh, for some reason, I want to compute the log of this. So again, you know, I'll save that in a variable, uh, log min MPG. And now to finish it off, let's say that I want the cosinus of this. I don't know if it's cosinus in English. Cosinus. I don't know. Anyway, now I have <coughs> I have my value. I'm quite happy with it. Great, but that's you know a lot of intermediate variables, a lot of temporary variables that I don't really need. Uh, but it would be nice if I could write this in one line. And of course, you, you can do just that. You can write cosinus of log of mean of empty cars MPG, and you have the same result. So that works fine for small toy examples like this. But if you start working with more complex objects, with uh, lists and with data frames and lists of data frames and so on, um, it can start to be a bit complicated to keep track of what you're actually doing, right? So you will be tempted to write and keep a lot of intermediate variables, unless you use the pipe. So the pipe is this weird uh, symbol over here, percent uh, smaller than percent. So you can read that as then. So the idea is that once you, uh, you know what, let me write a full, you know, let, let me write an example of before before talking about the pipe let me write an example of how you would uh, compute the average by another uh, the, the average of a variable by another variable so i would write something like this so i would write group by so group by is a uh, dplyr function so i group by the empty cars data set and i group by am right and now i would like let's say the uh, minimum of MPG, great, and I still have to, well, no, that's not going to work, that's not going to work, no, 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 because actually my function has to come here, and this, I think, is going to work, no, 
I have parentheses. Okay, that's worked. Um, so as you noticed, I struggled a little bit uh, to write that because I had to think about it because I use pipes so much in general. So group by takes a data frame as the first input and then a variable or a column of, the, of, of that data frame as the second input and summarizes just the same. So this here is actually uh, a data frame. So the output of group by is a data frame. So summarize takes a data frame as an input and then uh, a function with a variable as the second uh, variable as the second input and this gives you then a new data frame with what you want that's very nice however if you use pipes it's going to be much easier because you can write empty cars then you use the then symbol the pipe you group by am so notice that in my group by sorry group by Notice that in my group by, I only have AM now. I don't have empty cars. I don't have the data frame. That's because my input is being piped as the first argument of the group by function. And the first argument of the group by function is a data frame. So group by AM. And now summarize. And what did I want? I wanted the minimum. Uh, and you know what? Let's call it mean mpg and let's go with mean mpg great and that works and it's very nice and easy so you might think well nice and easy i don't really agree because now you have three lines instead of one so why should i use that well what is really nice with it is that you can very easily keep adding stuff so for example i could want the maximum of mpg now and as I said, the output of summarize is another data frame. So if you look at this over here, that is a data frame, right? So you could simply say, well, uh, I can work with that data frame. I can do stuff with it. For example, I could add another column. I could add uh, uh, my, my column, which is going to be uh, min mpg plus max mpg and that's why it is so powerful because you don't have to think about okay where do i put it inside which parentheses do i put what it can be very complex and what is nice with this pipe is that you can use it for any type of function so you you're not limited to tidyverse functions you could say you know what empty cars let me get mpg so for mpg if you want to get it out you could use either pull so that's easy uh, or you could use, let's comment this, you could use the dollar symbol because the dollar is actually another function. Now it's very, very easily, you could do it like this. Uh, well, actually, I have to do it like this. Voila. That's going to work. And then I could just say, well, I want now the minimum, I want the log, and, oops, I want the cousins, 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 and here it is. So as you can see, it's very, it's a very useful and powerful function because you can keep chaining stuff together. You can keep chaining functions together, and this can be any functions with any type of object as long as you remember that the pipe takes the output of a function and passes that as the input or as the first input of the next function. So try it out and if you have fun if you have functions if you have questions just uh, leave me a comment down below